So, hey guys, apologies for how I look, number one, and for two, the lighting is really bad. Um, I just filmed like a five-minute video, and for some reason, my phone just shut off. So now I'm doing it on my tablet, which, if you all know, have been with me for a while. It is notorious for going darker. Um, anyways, excuse me for one second. I'm trying to move this pup here. Um, it is early in the morning, and... I just felt like doing a video to get um, your opinion on something or your take on something. Um, it is going to be, again, medically related. Um, just to catch you up really fast, like nothing's been going on with the exception of a couple of days ago, and I'll get more into that. Um, so that's why I really haven't been around. I've just been kind of navigating through life and again I'm notorious for not checking the last video that I did um I think I had told you I went to the doctor I got the back report that I do have some fractures uh minimal as they are I'm going to see a spine specialist on December 3rd if not before but two days ago and I think I have spoken of this before, and if I haven't, I find that very strange, but this weird thing has happened to me, I want to say within the last definitely six or more months. So let me know in the comments below, and trust me, I will be checking them to see if anybody has the same symptoms or the same thing that happens to them um generally in the past i would yawn randomly and i would get this now I, let me just stop really fast i'm not sure how this is going to be perceived if it's going to be flipped in other words the video is going to be flipped once i upload it so this right here my friends is my left side um, this is my right side, but when I upload, it may be reversed and I have no control over that. Back in the day, my phone used to be wonderful for not flipping the picture, um, or the video when I did an update, I don't know, six or so months ago, it has flipped. So when I'm driving, it looks like I'm driving on the right side and I'm really driving on the left side, you know, the passenger versus driver side. So when I'm speaking to you right now in regards to what I'm going to say, I'm speaking to you about the left side of my head face. Okay. So this weird thing would happen when I would yawn again, very, very, very sporadic. It almost felt or feels like a muscle spasm or a nerve problem. And it is only on this side, like this side. It's not on this side. Um, and it happened, I remember the last sort of bad one was when I was almost walking into surgery for my nose. So that was May. And I'll never forget, I was going to the restroom and I was changing into the gown and I sort of stretched and sort of yawned and it kind of hit. And I'm like, oh God, no, 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 not now, not now, not now. Yes, I mean, best place for it to happen to tell somebody about it. And I didn't. Um, but I kind of got myself under control and I did this weird thing where I could lean my neck back and it kind of alleviates the pressure and it kind of goes away. It's just weird. It's completely weird and it's completely freaky. But I've had little ones since May. Like you can, I shouldn't have yawned that way or I shouldn't have opened my mouth that way or I shouldn't have turned that way. Um, and I just kind of catch myself, do my little weird neck thing to bring it out of whatever this is. This is getting heavy and hot. Oh, it's just a little buckwheat thingamabob. You can heat it up. I'm trying to make my neck feel better. Um, but Tuesday, 
I was outside with the girls just at the tail end of my lunch, which I think I had soup or I had, no, I had a lean cuisine flatbread sandwich. Um, and we were sitting outside and my neighbor drove his bike by and we just got to talking and something hit again. So this time I was, you know, yes, I was using my mouth. Yes, I was using my jaw. I wasn't just sitting here and something happens. And again, it was one of the worst pains ever. Again, primarily on this side. And, you know, I was trying to make it go away, but he keeps yabbity, yabbity, yabbity. And I'm like, look, Rick, I'm something just happened to me. I can't talk right now. You know, I got to go take care of myself. But ever since then, I've had a really bad headache. It's wrapping around here. I've had sharp pains or pains. Um, knock on wood. I haven't had one of those since yesterday afternoon. Disclaimer stupidly and smartly or whatever you want to call it as I said before I am obsessed with A Star is Born the movie in 2018 and I wanted to see it one more time in the theater so I was busy Monday and it was a holiday and I didn't want to go yesterday was Tuesday it was the only day of the week I could go and I couldn't see in advance if it was going to play next week. So I bought the ticket last week. I checked with my neighbor. He loves to stay with the girls and just watch TV and get out of his house and get out of his situation. So, you know, I said, are you busy Tuesday? He said, no, I'm never busy. So he came over. I left feeling like crap. Unsure if I was going to make it through the movie. Because I was so uncomfortable. So, I did go out. I tried to, like, just forget about this for a little while. It didn't sort of work. It worked a few times during the movie, like when I'm so engulfed in it that I forgot for just a little while. But, you know, it just goes right back to pain. Um, I did have to leave early. Not Well, because, number one, the parking was an issue. It wouldn't take my last dollar. Yes, we have to pay for parking around here. And the movie started late because I ran too many flippin' previews. So I left 10 minutes early. Thank God I'd seen it twice. I love the ending. I don't love, love, love the ending. But um, I just had to get out of there. So I was just uncomfortable. I've still been uncomfortable. I can tell you... I feel completely different, better when I'm lying down, like at night. I'm much, much better. I still have a little sensation of a headache, but the minute I get up, it's like instant pain. So um, I do have a history of TMJ. I wore my, net, my mouth guard just over the counter mouth guard. Last night, I'm going to continue to wear it. I know just by wearing it one time, it's not going to make a difference. You have to continually wear it. But, I mean, this is just, it's so, so freaky and so, so scary that, you know, I, I wonder, is it my neck? Is it, is it a pinched nerve? Is it TMJ? Sorry. I can't help myself. This is not allergies. This is all dander. I can't even... I think I got two good months out of my nose surgery, and that was about it. But, like, now, you know, when I open, it, it pops. But it's done that for years. This is not... 
Anything I'm telling you right now, there's not, with the exception of that weird thing, they're not new symptoms. Yes, I've had TMJ. Yes, I've been stressed. I just, you know, I don't know what to do. So I did mention this to the, um, I want to call her a liaison or the advocate who works closely with my nurse practitioner. Um, I was assigned her, um, just going forward, we're going to talk once a week, which we did last Friday, which I'm not sure I told you about. Um, so I sent her a message and I sent her two messages. Like one was about this and one was about my blood pressure reading. That was really, really good. And I'm just like, well, just here it is. Do whatever you want with it. So she replies back to the blood pressure message, but not the urgent message about this. God, I don't know what's going on with my nose. Ugh. Um, so this, in all reality, may have to wait till Friday at our next phone appointment, but it's just really, really scary. It's, it's just, it freaks you out like, oh my God. And I don't want to say it out loud and I don't want to, you know, your mind just goes in 10 directions and to every worst case scenario you could ever think about. Um, I wish I could see the spine specialist. I wish I could mention this to him, but if it's not directly correlated with your spine, but your neck is part of your spine. I'm just wondering if that is causing this. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, so if anybody out there has experienced something similar, um, just comment below and um, just let me know because it is, you know, I don't want to say or jinx myself. Of course, it's better than it was two days ago. Um, but the more I move around, the more I'm upright and not laying down, it's worse. Um, and I have to go out today. I'm very, very blessed and very, very lucky. My friend, for whatever reason, not my friend friend, but a high school friend or childhood friend that we I recently reconnected with, um had a $200 gift certificate, I think, to a very high-end restaurant um, in an adjacent city. So we've been trying to get together forever. She can't come here because supposedly she's allergic to my parakeets, which I find very, very odd, but whatever. And she doesn't want me at her place. So I've been telling her and asking her, and you know, I even asked her to go to lunch for her birthday. I was going to treat her. She said no. Um, whatever. So she is treating me to lunch today. And it's not going to cost us anything but a tip. And like I, I had been there one time when they first opened in the early 90s. That's how long ago I have, you know, never went back again. I could never afford it. Um, so we're going to do that today. Am I in the mood for it? No. Would I just love to sit here or lay here and try to get better in my pajamas? Absolutely. But I can't do that. And then tomorrow, Kamiley won the um, Halloween contest at the vet's office. So I have to go pick up her prize, whatever that is. I hope it's not food or treats because that's just not going to work. Um, should be a freaking credit for the vet appointments that I go to. Um, so I have to do that and then I have to get medication for her itching. And as a courtesy to me, I'm going to take Lexi with me. I know shock and awe the, the contest winner is not going with me. Um, because my friend that works there is going to listen to Lexi's heart because strangely enough, I made my friend or she did it for me as a favor to go back into Lexi's last appointment notes and nothing is mentioned about a heart murmur. Absolutely nothing. The other doctor that doesn't work there anymore. I mean, 
Supposedly, she has a three out of six murmur. I was supposed to take her to a cardiologist, but then I got sick and things just exploded in my world. Um, so as a courtesy, I mean, she's been there 35 years. She's just as good, if not better than the vet that I trust, which I don't trust that much. Um, so she's going to listen to her heart. If she hears something, then for sure I'm going to take her to a cardiologist. But if she doesn't hear anything, then we're in the clear, which I hope, hope, hope that I pray to God that's the case. I hope this other vet, he was so fresh and new and inexperienced that maybe he thought he heard something, but why wouldn't you put it in the notes? So I have that to do tomorrow. <sighs> and then Friday... I have that phone call, that hour phone call in the afternoon. Um, I'm hoping Friday to stay home. I pray I can just stay home, stay in my pajamas, and just rest. Maybe I'm just, I'm doing too much. I don't know. I'm certainly not the type of person to sit here and do nothing. Shit's got to get done. Like today, I have to take a shower. I have to feed the girls. Probably take them on a walk. I have to get out of here by at least 10 after 11, get to her house, pick her up, go to the restaurant, eat lunch, take her back home. On the way back home, I have to go to the pet store. I have to go to Smart and Final to get chicken. Then I have to get home, deal with the crazies. By then, you know, it's going to be 2 or 3 o'clock. And then the whole thing just starts all over again. It's just absolutely crazy. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're living it, trying to time everything and make sure everybody's comfortable, everybody's fed, everybody's gone to the bathroom, everything's cleaned up. I have to bring the, bin, the bins off the street, bring them in the back. You know, I already had to clean my car out because I have puppy car seats. So I had to vacuum everything out, move the car seat to the side of the house. The car seat has to go back in before tomorrow because I take Lexi. It's just like all over the place. So that's why I don't rest because I'm constantly moving and going and getting shit done. But anyways, so sorry for the boring video. Um, like I said, if anybody out there has experienced, this is what I'm primarily um, posting this video about. Please let me know and, and please don't play Dr. Google. Trust me, I do it myself all the time and I'm Googling this and I'm Googling that and the symptoms of this and the symptoms of that. So, you know, please don't say go to the emergency or please don't go, you know, go to your doctor, you're dying or something. Um, as you can see, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm just freaked out. So, um, just please just think and rethink before you comment. You know, if it's going to be helpful, um, if you've experienced something or somebody you know this experienced this before, please, you know, comment away. Love it. Wonderful. Just, just please don't make my anxiety even worse than it already is. All right. All right. I'm going to go. Now I have to go feed the um, seven little dwarfs. Come back in. Heat this baby back up a little bit more. Trying to watch This Is Us. I've been up now for an hour and a half and I've made it through 20 minutes. Yeah. So take care everybody. Hope everybody has a great day. And um, I will update as news warrants. As you know, it probably warrants every few days in my world. So take care. Bye.